Welcome, my name is Ricky, and today I thought we'd play a little Fallout 4, just as a one-off. It's Fallout's 25th anniversary, and Bethesda's been giving away quite a lot of creations, and also discounting pretty heavily some of them as well. So, I thought we'd play a couple that I have either purchased or gotten for free over the past couple of weeks. So, uh, this is Marissa. She is wearing some very high-level armor, given that she's only level 15. And the reason she's wearing this armor, I didn't cheat it in, is because I went to Quincy as part of one of the creations that we're not going to play through today. And one of the guys there has really heavy combat armor, but also that same creation gives you heavy leather armor at the beginning of it. So that's why we're wearing this heavy armor. If you're wondering, it's the combat rifle creation, which is actually really well done, all things considered, even though I'm not super enamored with the weapon. It's not bad, but it's not great either. So, workshop stuff. I have not done a lot of playing around with the workshop stuff they've been giving away. So, first up, I want to talk about this. Uh, this is Marissa's house. She, uh, well, I mean, I guess, you know, it's a studio. But uh, I, she has two beds because this is made up of two different creations. The Nuka-Cola furniture creation and the modern workshop something. Anyway, so we've got this mid-century chair, mid-century sofa, coffee table I didn't realize was a... Was a, a container, but then we also got Nuka-Cola stuff. I don't know. Got this uh, power armor, uh, the Nuka-Cola poster. I got my Nuka-Cola bed here. Also, this is a bed from the other one. I really love the floor more than I think I love anything else because having a hardwood floor is really nice in this game, but it is a giant pain in the butt to make all of the wood panels go the same direction. At least the uh, color, like matches right like so that like you can see where the line here is also i'm pretty sure this is fake wood and it's actually supposed to be tile even though i think it's made up of wood why is it also wet i have a roof that's weird um it's raining currently so i thought we start with the vr stuff um i don't actually have this connected to power so i should do that real fast there we go okay now we can sit in the vr thing no destination set. Oh, I gotta build the terminal. Hang on. I've never actually seen anyone do this, right? Like, I've avoided any kind of thing because I thought, well, if I do this, I want to know. So, let's see. We can go to Grid World, Capital Wasteland, Desert Island, Atomic Crater. Well, we're going to the Capital Wasteland. You are entered VR Workshop. The special workshop with large settlement budget, free crafting, because building what you want. Real World Settlement Spines cannot be... Okay. Ah, okay. I'm at, uh, GNR Plaza. Is a behemoth going to show up? Start attack mode. Generate VR settler. Change weather. Change render mode. Hear about that farm run by ghouls? Isn't that something? How did you hear about that farm run by ghouls? You're a VR settler in a different area of the world. How do I start attack mode? I can build 999 beds. Because I guess I have an infinite number of them. I guess I don't need food. Because I guess VR people don't eat or drink. You know, okay, so I have an infinite number of crafting materials, but it still requires gun nut and science. Like, they couldn't have removed it for just this. Maybe they couldn't have. You know, I really like this not having... Look at all of the turrets I could just build. Now I'm going to see if it'll let me... Oh, hey, I can delete this stuff, too. Maybe there's something I need to build. Hang on. Oh, wow. This is a lot bigger than I realized. I deleted this thing, I deleted all the rubble, and now I can go all the way to here. Also, I'm in black and white, so I assume that's actually supposed to be green, but it just looks white. This is a terrible way to build turrets, by the way, in a workshop, just in case anyone is wondering. But if you can build a million of them, they are never going to be able to destroy them all. Aha! Finally! So, do, 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 do. I swear to God, if I can't summon in a superhuman behemoth, I was going to be mad. Finally! <laughs> you know what I bet? I've, I've had the brotherhood of steel. Uh, uh, I would really like a million turrets. Okay, I think I've built ten. I'm going to count. So now we have ten super mutant behemoths coming in. Also, I'd like to point out that uh, Super Mutant Behemoths... Whoa! Thing's still got an assault rifle. 
uh, look really weird in black and white, and they look really weird in the VR thing, too. But they still have skulls over there. Ow! Um... Am I in God mode? When I'm in the VR thing, can I not get hurt? Can I can just stand here and wait for the turrets to take out the behemoths as they attack me? Yeah, I'm just gonna stand here. Oh my good lord, look at all the experience I'm getting. It feels like a cheesy way to level up. I could build literally an infinite number of machine gun turrets. Look, I level up. I don't want to use my ammo. It's 556 ammo. This is, this is ridiculous. This is utterly ridiculous and I love it. In case you're wondering, um, which you're probably not, there's a reason you don't put turrets on the ground and it's because melee users can get to them. Like, obviously, non-melee users are always going to be able to get to the turrets. But, uh be able to shoot them but uh I, I, with all i mean admittedly i spawned in 10 super mutant behemoths which caused me to level up and then i just sort of stood there and let them attack me because apparently god mode's enabled which it's not by the way so this is the desert island place i can't fast travel from this location but as you can see i've got desert island north Desert Island West. So there was this Desert Island stuff in the Creation Club. Obviously, this is what it was from. It's got like bamboo as its like font, and I just I did not like I did not care for it that much. But this is really fun. This would probably look a lot nicer if I didn't have it in black and white. So I'm going to turn the color back on, and then I am going to. Uh go and do something else oh yeah that actually looks way better i thought the gnr plaza looked pretty nice in black and white but uh really could have used more contrast maybe i'll make it look more contrasty in the video do some video effects but yeah i mean this is pretty fun but we've got other creations to get to some of this stuff i've already done some of which i've actually played through on the channel so chinese stealth armor is new for me the gauss rifle prototype is new for me also there's a new cafe ola diner which i don't know which creation this came from but i think it was a nuka cafe thing anyway we're gonna go check that out too first we're gonna go find the chinese stealth armor which says steal it but uh i think i'm just gonna kill everybody in it hello mr gunner You guys are nowhere near as difficult as your uh, compatriots. Ow. Okay, do I have God Mode enabled? Okay, there's a chance I just... No, okay, I'm taking damage. Never mind. I was like, is there a chance I just have God Mode enabled? I'm not saying this gun is powerful or too powerful or not powerful enough. But it is bloodied. Also, there's a rad storm that's about to happen, or just happened, or... So it wasn't steal so much as kill everybody, as I predicted. And he had a night vision 45 pipe sniper rifle. And the Chinese stealth armor. Okay, well that was the Chinese stealth armor. We may not do the prototype Gauss rifle because it's gonna involve me fighting more gunners. So I didn't actually talk about this. This is this is this combat rifle here is the it's a creation combat rifle. It is an always automatic combat rifle with a really, really fun quest attached to it, and then a slightly more tedious quest that lets you get several of the upgrades for the gun. Uh, so like, you know, when you go in and you make new receivers, sometimes you got to go find some of them. So that was less fun. Also, and I don't think I've talked about this in another video, but Eleanor is my favorite person in the entirety of the Commonwealth. Um, because she sells large quantities of ballistic ammo. She doesn't sell large quantities of energy weapon ammo, but she does sell large quantities of ballistic ammo, like 556 which is what this gun uses if you want it to. It actually comes default with 45, but I switched it over to 556 because it does more damage. So if you're curious, I have the standard receiver, 
with the 556 rounds, the long enclosed barrel, which causes it to do way more damage. The barrels with this gun are very similar to the laser rifle barrels. The longer the barrel, the more damage it does. But only for the enclosed barrel, I think. Uh, light stock, large magazine, reflex sight, no muzzle because I can't put any muzzles on it yet. And the minivan paint because none of the other paints look good. And uh, I can't put the paint I'd really like to put on it, which is the hot rod pink paint. Which, if you paid attention to the beginning of the episode or just right now, you'll know that I like because, well, you can't really tell. But uh, all of the armor is painted in hot rod pink paint. And I paint uh, all of my characters. And any weapon that can get painted in the game, I paint it hot rod pink. That's also a creation, but that's a creation that Bethesda gave away for free. Like the third week the creation club was available or something like that. I, I'm i pretty sure I have every paint job at this point. Now there is a gunner on the roof with the fat man. And I've already had trouble with gunners and fat man. Fat men. There was a gunner with a fat man in uh, in Quincy and that was unpleasant excuse me excuse me I'm here to kill people actually nope I'm here to get a gauss rifle that I'm not gonna use because this is probably gonna be the end of this playthrough also apparently the person I'm looking the gun I'm looking for is on the roof ow ow I am not that high a level why are they explosive Whoa! So as it turns out, I did not quick save right before we came over here like I thought I did. I must have pressed the B button instead of the A button and just assumed I had pressed the A button. Not always the smartest, admittedly, but, you know, normally I'm better than that. Apparently, though, not today. So, quick save... Also, we're going to shoot the dang turrets first. And we're not going to play so reckless. What was that? How much health? Where, where was my health? This is going to be one of those things where I'm going to look back and realize I had like four health and didn't realize it. Because uh, sometimes that happens. Or is this going to be one of those times where I look back and I'm like, full health. Well, he missed that time. Haha. <laughs> I'm going to die. There you go. I still think my plan is a sound one. I have a crit. We use the crit on the gunner private that has the missile launcher. I have Molotovs and only Molotovs. I keep selling the other ones because I never use them. There's not a bounty on me. Okay. Well, that sucked. I had 70, then it went down to 60. Well, at least I can kill the conscript in one that's shot. This legendary gunner has a skull next to its name, which is not super great news. Uh, on the other hand, I killed way worse than him in Quincy. Like, way worse than him in Quincy. Because apparently, Quincy does not have a low-level level. So, turret. Just go right on ahead. That was not the button I wanted to hit. I mean, it was, but I meant to hold it down for longer. There he is. Other gunner private. Oh, it was like, what did he have as a suppressed 10 millimeter? Maybe. Where are you? Why are you not on the same floor as me? It's fine. I hit level 17. Now you guys are going to do 15% less damage to me. Because I'm going to take Lone Wanderer. Hello. Hey. Turret. Thing, thank you. Hello, guys. How are you guys doing? You guys having a good day? Maybe not so much. Reload the gun faster, please. Thank you. Penetrating meat hook. Fan freaking tastic. That's a lot of red. Bombs away. It might not have been my smartest idea. I could have waited until I was a little bit higher level. I don't know. I mean, this gun is pretty overpowered, all things considered. 
I mean, it'd be nice if three shots would actually take, you know, all of it, but... Whoa! That turret was marked with a skull. Not so much that one. Also, I have not been looting the turrets to get, like, the five... 556 rounds that are in it. Hello, person with the key to the other room. There you are. I don't like that you have a plasma pit uh plasma pistol, yeah, pistol. Ow, 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 ow. There's not a bounty on me. Why would there be a bounty on me? You guys are the gunners. You're the bad guys. I know it seems like uh I am the bad guy because I've just come in come into your place and just started firing at you, but uh I promise you're the ones who are the bad guys. I mean, I can see why they like this place. It is quite defensible. Oh, I don't like the 66% chance I have to... Never mind. Okay, no offense, but you guys are really putting the wrong turrets in the wrong place. Okay, at least this one's a three and setting me on fire. Actually, no, that's not true. I think he's the one who was setting me on fire. Yeah, he was the one who was setting me on fire. Ow, what is... Who is... Where did you come from? Were you in this room too and I didn't remember? No. Do, do a bunch of people spawn in when you come into this room? That seems mean. Or were they just here already and I just didn't kill them before? No. Can you tell I don't come over here that often? I don't know this place at all. Two thousand hours in this game, you think I know it a little bit better. I mean, I really should, shouldn't I? Did you guys all decide to come downstairs to fight me? That is so nice. I don't like using vats with this because every time I shoot in vats, it shoots three shots. But if I don't use vats, I wind up like using way more shots. There's the guy that's down here. The the one I was thinking of, the the named gunner. I have a crit. Alright. Well, he dead. So is he. Wow, this... That sounds very... Boomy. I like it. Bro-type Gauss rifle, it should. Tactical Gauss rifle prototype. Yeah, that was a smart move of me to shoot him in the arm. Oof. That was the guy I was worried about earlier. So this is new. I didn't know about this. Nuka-Cola t-shirt and cargo pants. And leather pants. I really don't want to spend $70 just to see what this stuff looks like. But also, I, I, I kind of do. So the armored Nuka-Cola thing is minimally armored. And you can't wear armor with it. Now, if they're ballistically weavable, then they'd be useful. But otherwise, Nuka-Cola t-shirt and cargo pants. Now the leather... No, okay, now see, now we're talking. I dig this. I really dig this. This is nice. It's just a shame you can't wear armor with it. So again, if it's if it's ballistically weavable, it's good. If it's not, then there's no reason to wear it. Ooh. Okay. Again, if it's ballistically weavable. So now we're doing carbonated concerns. We are going to find the new Cafe Ola Diner. Which is a lot of words. And it's right here, apparently. With stuff in front of it. Uh, I'm going to try and Bethesda my way up. There we go. I'm search for the key. Uh, Ellie's supply note run. Out of supply went to props. Okay. Right. So over here then. She went to the Cheers bar, I think. I think the Cheers bar is also used in the uh, anti-material rifle creation. Ooh. Uh, I really dig this a lot. So, I am... I am taking your clothes. I am very sorry. Well, this place is kind of fancy. Ellie's notes. 
Ellie's notes on all things Nuka. 2nd of May, 2286. You're wondering what Swan is? He's a giant super mutant behemoth that's actually much easier to kill than you'd think. 21st of June, 2286. This is last year. Heard rumors that Nuka World has turned into a trade hub of sorts. Ooh, do not go there. Like, oh, the mountains can't be that bad. I got a killer blister on my left foot, so triple will have to wait. 5th of December, 2286. Got a letter from my sister. She's heading to Nuka World sometime after the new year. Not sure what the plan is. 18th of March. Return from Nuka World, full of raiders. Scary, no sign of sis. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Raiders came to pay a visit. I gave them most of what I had to leave us alone. Who knows when they'll show up again. Maybe we can stay safe. We attract a friendlier kind of attention. The diner running again. But who have been in comments, grab a bite to eat. Oh, don't go to Quincy. Okay, that was a bad idea. Of course, I guess she's dead in a bar, in the Cheers bar. Is that the end of the quest? Yes. Is this my home now? Yep. This is my place now. But I really dig it. Obviously, this is from the Nuka Cola Workshop creation, which is free as I record this, but I don't know how long it's going to be free after... You know, when, if, I don't know if it'll still be, I think it was free, pretty sure it's free, uh, as I record this, uh, it's free, but that does not mean it's still free, just to be clear. But this is not a particularly great workshop, and I'll tell you why. There's raiders right over there. You can't see where I'm pointing, but you know where they are. So, I've saved the maybe best for last. Anyway, now we're gonna do pint size slasher. We need to investigate the Boston... Uh, newspaper place. Boston Bugle. That's where we're going. Hey, look. Apparently today is Kill All the Gunners Day. For no reason at all, I was like, I'm just gonna kill the gunners over here. What is in the Boston Bugle? And why can't I remember what's in here? Is it raiders? Is it nothing? Is nothing here? I can't remember. Robots, that's right, it's robots. At least that robot. Larry's terminal, Larry's hall reports. Error domain, bugle, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> user override. Larry rules, journal entries, okay. Entry one, score. As that unusual runs, I found this place, seems to be a pre ordered newspaper. Oh lord, okay, so apparently I gotta go to Monsignor. Great, okay. Uh, not gonna try that again, decided to head up to that fancy tiny place, Monsignor. Plaza, figured there'd be a, uh, uh, some sweet loot. Oh, okay, so they he found this costume and then the raiders found him and started shooting and dropped my cap stash, barely made it out alive. Okay, feeling watched. I uh, made up here, Central Boston, scattering the, some feel right, some lurk in the shadows, and then there's Larry, he is dead. I'm gonna tell you fucking I really wish you wouldn't. Do you guys not have Junkie's laser musket? Sure. Okay. Do you guys not have control over your minds in here? Because uh, I feel like that would be a thing you should have. Ow. Control over. Who was shooting at me? Yeah, the range on this gun is outstanding. I feel like it might be longer than every other gun in the game. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe it's because I haven't played Fall 4 in a while. No one's here. Search the bookstore area for clues. What? I'm not freeing this settler. I don't even know where he needs to go. All right, I'm gonna kill these raiders real fast. You just did. You, on the other hand, have to reload all the time. I'm still in danger because there's still raiders, but they're like up there. Let's read the store terminal. Huber's partnership. Point size slasher, Halloween season fast approaching. They're, for whatever reason, they're launching the pint size slasher costume. Hubris assures it it's been a hit, absolutely. That's weird. I, I just, everything about that is dumb and worrisome. All right, these guys are pissing me off. I'm gonna go kill them. Hi, how are you doing? I'm just gonna shoot you. I was gonna bash you to death, but the game was like, nah. Oh, you're a ghoul. You didn't sound like a ghoul. Aha! He wants to take it from me, but I won't let him. Okay, I still haven't finished searching this place, apparently. But I don't see what else I'm looking for. Take all this crap, but... Mash display box, activate! That's what it's been telling me to do this. Same display box was recently smashed. Open, and it's contents. 
Okay. By the way, the Boston Bugle says that the case is closed on crime boss Eddie Winter, which is weird because Eddie Winter's still alive. You know what I'm supposed to be doing, random settler? There's a quest that I haven't picked up yet. You're going to help me now, right? Uh, I don't even know where you're from. What are you doing what here? What are you doing here? They grabbed me while I was on watch. I I I'm pretty sure they're getting ready to kill me. Please, you got to help. Don't worry. Oh, my God. I don't know where I'm going. I think I actually know where you go, but um, I'm actually doing something else right now. If you could help me, Settler, find the thing I'm supposed to be looking for in this room that I haven't found yet. Like, I found the display case, and I've activated it about a hundred times. And then there was a note over here, and then there's a bunch of other burnt crap, which isn't going to do me any good. The road one says the same thing. I've never actually looked at the uh, Boston Bugles before. Cause why would you? Wait, ah, scratch subway token. Subway token is College Square etched on the surface. Confront the murderer at College Square. Okay, but before I do that, I'm gonna take him back to the place over by the. Yeah, I am merely playing a hunch here that uh, he's from County Crossing. Also, I'm not sure he's following me anymore. I don't know how to thank you. Oh, look at that! I got it right. College Square. I already need to go there for the Brotherhood because that's where I am in the game. All right, I'm gonna try and do this quickly. I assume, I don't know why the game suddenly is feeling way more stuttery than it normally is. Um, ow. You didn't, not even the one that came from in here. Where did you come from? The game has suddenly started to get a little bit more stuttery and I'm not 100% certain why. I'm actually kind of glad I didn't do this quest because I might have accidentally spoiled the ending of... I'm glad I didn't do the quest for the Brotherhood because I might have spoiled the ending of the Slasher quest. I might not have. Sometimes these games... Uh, like, they won't spawn the final thing until the, uh, until the end. Now let's go confront the murderer. Actually, let's kill this roamer and then we'll go confront the murderer. Is the murderer going to be a ghoul too? Note. Enter deer. Ah. Yes. The murderer is a ghoul too. Assassin's pint size slasher knife. Little Menace's pint size slasher costume. Plus one strength. Minus one perception. Reduces detection from moving and makes wear 15% faster. Sure. As I said, yes, was a ghoul. No more. What is no more? I remember the stories of my slasher. My family taken. My home taken. My humanity taken. No more. I will do the taking now. I found the mask. It is mine by right. Okay. That guy was crazy. I guess living in this world will make you crazy. The worst part about the game being kind of stuttery is that the recording doesn't seem to be showing it stuttery the way. Eh. Which means it won't look stuttery at all. So those are some of the creations that Bethesda has either given away and or discounted. Because it's Fall's 25th birthday. I very much enjoyed some of them. I did not so much enjoy that last one. Mostly because the hunting for that stupid subway token was a giant pain in the butt. If you want to see some other creations, I have played through some of them. I played through Tunnel Snakes Rule and Captain Cosmos in my Fallout 4 Mods playthrough. And I've also done the Horse Power Armor as well, and that was in my Fallout 4 Survival Mode playthrough, the first one I did on the channel. So I have a lot of Creation Club stuff on the channel. This has been Fallout 4. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.